Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Cypress Baptist Church and this fine Sunday morning. September 1st, we are in September, running into the last, last weekend of summer. And uh, at, least that's what, at least that's what our tradition is. Of course, the last weekend of summer will happen for another three weeks, technically, but oh well. Okay, we have a few announcements. I wanted to draw you to the uh, Cypress Heart. There's a, a couple of inserts in Cypress Heart that I want to point you to. Um, the one that's white, uh, this, these are talking about classes that are going to start at 5 o'clock every Sunday. This is going to start next week. Uh, there are uh, four adult classes that are spoken about in this particular uh, uh, pamphlet here. And two of them are already going on. It's the men's Bible study class right now. We're working through the first, uh, second Peter. And then um, the ladies' Bible study class taught by my wife, Sarah Calkins. And they're working through the book of Hosea, and those classes are going really well. There's two more that are going to be starting next week, uh, September 8th, and they're having to do with biblical counseling. And uh, one class is on grief and loss, which sounds really interesting. Um, Gail Johnson's the leader for that. And then the uh, other class, uh, our pastor's the leader, it's on the basics of biblical counseling and discipleship. And if you don't have one of these... Uh, uh, little flyers, pamphlets, uh, they are in Cypress Heart this week. You just go ahead and grab one of those, and uh, and you can read it, read up on that. But 5 o'clock, uh, starting next week, those two classes are going to begin. And, of course, the men's Bible study and the ladies' Bible study class is happening already. And so that will be this evening as well at 5. And uh, also just want to let you know, too, if you are a college-age student or um or just someone interested in this type of uh, material, on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock here in the Family Center, uh, Casey Kimball is facilitating a class on uh, building a solid scientific and historical case for Christianity. So it's, uh, it's it started this past week, and the material is very good. It's uh, biblical material, it's a video material, and it's a very, very good uh, material. If you're interested in that, please be here. It's, it, of course, we have dinner at 5, and then we'll have a prayer meeting, and then, of course, that class at 6 o'clock as well. And then, of course, there's, all, there's things for all ages at 5 o'clock during that same hour, so preschool and, and children and youth have things that they're doing as well. So, uh, so we're going to have a lot going on um, starting this next week, and, of course, also tonight, too, at 5 o'clock going on. Also, do remember, uh, we do have Sunday school every week at about 9.15 every Sunday morning. And so if you aren't involved in that, please uh, go ahead and be involved in that. That'd be great. There's a class for you. Also, on Wednesday, we will be eating uh, beef stew butter noodles. Uh, I think that's two different things. Beef stew and butter noodles. Okay. It just, there, there's no space there. I'm like, that's kind of weird. Beef stew butter noodles. I've never had that. I think I have. Just, those are two different things. Okay. That's just, actually, that sounds really good. I had beef stew last night. That's really good. So, um, so if you're interested in that, please fill that up. Put it in the uh, offering plate later on in the service. Also, there are black folders. There are some new black folders right in front of you in the uh, chair pocket. Got one every six chairs, and uh, you can fill that out. Your name and other information. Also, email address. If, if you haven't given us your email address, please do so, and you can do that just by filling that black folder out. That would be very helpful for us as well uh, for uh, different things. Also. Um, there are other, other announcements that we have. Uh, the Children's Choir is going to have a kickoff this, some, this uh, Wednesday. And so that's September 4th at 6 p.m. They're going to have a kickoff party as well. So if you are to have children's grades 1 through 6, uh, please be here at 6 o'clock. And you'll have a kickoff party for Children's Choir to begin the new Children's Choir year. And um, also there are... Uh, oh, I just want to also let you know about the other flyer. I forgot to give you that information. Uh, this month is National Preparation Month. Uh, this is, uh, I, I, Brother David said, I guess FEMA is sponsoring National Preparation Month. How do you, you know that? Okay, that's great to know. But anyway, um, we have been uh, kind of crisis preparation people here at Little Cypress for uh, quite a while now, a few years. And um, so we've been doing that already. And this month we're going to have a canning day, a dry canning day. And so that's September 14th. And the de de deadline for the order is September the 11th. So if you are uh, if you're interested in that, just 
there's a, there's a list back here on the back side for the food products that we will be receiving during that time. We'll just uh, kind of see what the prices are, and then you can click how many, uh, uh, put, put on how many, how many cans you want there, one gallon cans, number 10 cans, if you haven't done that already. It's a really good process, uh, gotten to be involved in that. That's really cool just to see this whole place stripped down and, and all kinds of uh, all kinds of boxes coming in with those cans and uh, get a simple line going together. It's a, it's really a good thing going on there. And uh, I, it's, it's a lot of fun at the same time as uh, being prepared for come what may, whatever might come. So, so it's a good thing. If you want to be involved in that, there you go. That's that pamphlet for you as well. And also, uh, this evening is we're going to have a uh, dinner after the Sunday evening service. And so that will be... Uh, First Sunday Fellowship, and so if you're interested in that, there, uh, I'm not sure if there's, yeah, it's not in here, but anyway, uh, and do you have a list of, uh, okay, you have it, Laura? Great. Okay, Fellowship Dinner, Adult 1 and 4, Chips and Drink, okay, this is from last week, Adult 2 Desserts, and Adult 3 through 5, Sandwiches, so if you're in one of those classes, um, if you don't, uh, remember that, I will just set it right here. You can read that for, uh, for yourself to so you know what you're supposed to bring. And also September 22nd, in three weeks, we'll be having a gumbo cook-off in support of Reach Texas. But we're also going to have a pounding. Uh, we're going to be giving one pound of food or other material to uh, Nick Coleman and Kelly Etheridge, our youth minister Nick, as uh, they are preparing to, to be married. In October, so that's that's coming up very quickly. Uh, you ask me, Nick, you'll know the very day. How many days it is? It's uh, got to count down. Even hours, yes, days and hours. Yeah, you just have to pull out phone. Okay, great. All right, so uh, um, I think that's everything there. Of um, also, I guess uh, if you want yellow cap training coming up, uh, First Baptist Neerland is going to be training next Sunday night or Sunday afternoon at 12:30 after church, and if you want information for what Yellow Cap training is, you'll talk to James Hazleton about that. He'll give you all the information you want to know on that. Okay. Well, let's all stand and greet each other this morning. Thank you. 
Father, we thank you for being a risen king. That we can come to you as you call us. We can respond to your call to salvation. That you will forgive our sins. As we repent, you will give us eternal life and make us a part of your kingdom. Lord, we look forward to your kingdom coming on earth as it is in heaven, the visible kingdom of Jesus Christ on the earth. Lord, we know that the world needs you desperately. and No government is going to ever be able to accomplish or be what yours will be in the world. So we acknowledge that today. We acknowledge you as our God. We acknowledge you as our Savior. We ask that you would come today to save. There are people here, Lord, that you know have not yet received you as Lord and Savior. And you're drawing them to yourself but today, Lord, that you would help them to understand your great love for them. And the fact that we, all as sinners, are dead in our trespasses and sins. Even if we think we're a good person, we are dead. In trespasses and sin. That's what your word says. Lord we pray that you would help us to know that your word is true. And that David today. Would respond to receive you as Lord and Savior. Even as uh, those of us who already have. Nothing to brag on ourselves. Simply allow you to do what only you can do in our lives. Now Lord we do pray for our nation. Lord our nation desperately needs your truth. And needs your way. But Lord. We need you. Uh, we need you, your salvation. We need the work of your spirit to bring a great spiritual awakening. We need revival in the church. Lord, we know that in these last days that that could be a crucial time uh, that you could use to uh, prepare this nation uh, for the rapture of the church. Uh, it would explain why this nation wouldn't appear in Bible prophecy in the days ahead that you would save so many that you would be here. Lord, whatever your will and plan, we trust that you know best, for you are holy God. We ask that whatever struggles we're facing today, whether it's illness, concern for someone who's ill, struggles, addictions, problems in our life, difficulties in our marriage, whatever it might be, that you would convince us that you as God are mighty to say, to heal and to accomplish great work as we submit ourselves to you, obedient to your word, because we know you love us and you prove it at the cross. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's be seated. We're going to sing a couple other songs. The risen Christ of the scripture. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection to open the eyes of my heart. In the second song we sing. As I pray that you may know the hope to which he has called you in this scripture passage. The risen Christ. 